But you were born with mischief in your eyes and fire in your veins. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to Weekend Reads. So I'm recording this vlog style, and it's also only Thursday morning. It is 12.51 a.m. on October 6th. Um, but I have a very busy day ahead of me, so I know that I am not going to get much reading done. And I also want to have a chance to edit this and upload this before I have to go through with my busy day. Because I have a feeling I'm going to come home from something and be very pissed off and not want to do anything except play some video games. So I want to get this video out for you guys. I promised you that this was coming back. So yes. First off though, you can see a diaper behind me. She got her period, you guys. So we got treats right here. We got tweety treats for Callie. You say hi, Callie? You take the camera? Can I say hi? Say hi really quick. She's pissed. She's not happy. <laughs> um, but basically, this kind of weekend reads for a little while is just going to be me telling you guys what my currently reading bookshelf has on it because I have a lot of books that I'm currently reading. Um, and then we'll see what I can get through throughout the weekend because I'm going to really push it now um, between reading and then recording. But recording for... My gaming channel sh doesn't take that long for most of my series now. There's maybe one or two that I actually have to speed up, but that's the only editing I do. Uh, but yeah, so let's get into it. So the first book, of course, I have not finished it, is Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. I know, I'm so pissed off at myself for this. I'm not even that far into it. I'm really not. Um, I am... I just hit page 50. So I have a long way to go. Um, I got no excuses. Nothing. I just have not been up to reading again lately. Um, I've been pretty sick again. And I will explain that at the end of this video. Um, it's partially why I have a busy day today. <laughs> um, but I also want to finish reading... The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry. Um, I am actually on Messenger now. Um, I've read The Giver, obviously. I read that a while ago. I did not end up rereading it. Uh, and I read Gathering Blue earlier, early September. Um, so I'm on Messenger. I am on page 358 of, I think, over a thousand pages. Uh... Or no, not quite a thousand. There's 772 pages in this, but these are pretty easy reads, and it actually will get two books out because this also has Sun in it. Um, so I want to finish Messenger, and I want to get through Sun, but I might hold off. Actually, no, I need to read this because this is a library book, so I gotta get through it. That being said, I have another library book over there that I haven't even started, and I've already had to renew these ones. <laughs> Um, but I also wouldn't mind getting through Percy Jackson and the Olympians book 3, The Titan's Curse. Um, this should be a pretty quick read for me. It's just that I have other books I have to get through first. Uh, I really want to get through Crooked Kingdom. I want to get through The Giver Quartet. Um, and then I might end up skipping that in my next book to work on uh, my other library book, which is... Sorry, I have to reach down into my book pile. That actually has Beauty of Darkness over there too, but I'm not reading that right now. But uh, I also ended up finally, because my library hadn't had it for a while, I grabbed Champion by Marie Lou, so I might just jump into this next so that I can get it finished so that I can return it. Um, did I say Champion or did I say Legend? I don't remember. It's Legend. Champion is on my uh, Kindle Overdrive uh, from my library, but I'm not going to read that until I read. Right, he goes Legend, then something else, then Champion. I can't remember. I'll figure it out. But the last physical book I have is 
air fire by Sarah J. Moss. Uh, I need to get this done. I really, really do. Um, there goes my light because my laptop turned off. <laughs> Uh, I'm further into this than I am my other box. I am on page 162. But that's a lot that I have to get through. And then I'm also reading another series. My phone turned off. <laughs> and we're talking about how my goddaughter, um, when she says fishy, it sounds like she says a very bad word. Or, well, not very bad, just more inappropriate. My oldest goddaughter. I have two of them now. Uh, Harley was born. I didn't say anything on this channel. Uh, Harley was born on September 11th, 2016. So that day has become ten times greater for me now. I don't... It's not just about uh, what happened in New York City anymore. It's also the day my goddaughter was born. So, yay. Um... But on top of that, I'm reading this, the Gamer Series Complete Box Set. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to let me show you. There we go. Um, but I'm on Gamers right now. And this is just a uh, Kindle ebook that I'm reading because I like to have my ebook at night when I'm laying down. Um, I can't sleep very well anymore because of what's going on with me. So. We're going to get into that now, and then I will probably end up vlogging Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday this week, just because I'm doing this early Thursday morning. So, the health issues. Um, you guys all know I was in the hospital back in March for uh, my diabetes, um, and I ended up getting a new doctor while I was there because I did not have a diabetic doctor, which is an endocrinologist. Um, I didn't currently have one. My doctor had quit way back last October. So for a good five months, I wasn't seeing an endocrinologist. Um, I ended up actually having to call my primary, who I never go see, uh, or anything, and asking for him to refill my prescriptions. Um, but at the same time, obviously, I wasn't taking care of myself right. Um, so I got a new doctor, and we ended up, I went and got, you know, blood work and urine work done, because that's what you do, and it ended up that my doctor discovered my kidney is failing. Now, I only have one kidney. Um, I was born with a horseshoe kidney, so that kidney doesn't work, so I only have one. Um, so this one failing equals that I'm pretty much aft. So, it ends up that this has been happening for a while, because the, my doctor was like, we're gonna put you on this medication for it, and it clicked in my head that that was the medication my old doctor had put me on, my old endo had put me on that, and I was actually highly allergic to it. Um, it was causing me to pass out because it is also used by doctors to help control high blood pressure, and it was making my blood pressure crash. Even the lowest dose of it that they could prescribe was making me crash and almost pass out. Um, I was having horrible dizzy spells and I was actually, I think this was at our old apartment, um, which I never recorded in, so you guys will never see it. Um, but our, one of the days that my parents were both out, my mom was working and my dad was just out running errands or something, I actually almost passed out and hit my head on the counter. Um, I did take a fall, and luckily I didn't hit my head on the counter, and I woke up relatively right after that. It was more of a, a dizzy spell, but it made me too uncomfortable to take it, so I stopped taking it. I refused to take it. I never refilled the prescription or anything, so I told my new doctor that, and so she said, well, you need to go see a kidney specialist then. So that is what's happening today. Um... I've seen my endo twice since this appointment was set up, 
and she actually asked me last time, like, what the kidney doctor ever said. I'm like, I haven't seen him yet. Uh, so that's what's happening today, and it's going to be stressful. I'm worried. I'm worried about what they're going to say. Um, but since seeing this new endocrinologist, my diabetic A1C, which is my averages, has gone down, so that's very good. Um, I just gotta work on it and work on controlling my blood sugars and that'll help. Um, I have been feeling a lot of pain in my kidney and so I'm worried about what this doctor's gonna say, but hopefully she can find some new medication for me to take so that I won't have to go on dialysis because if I start dialysis, I'm basically done. I'm done with YouTube, I'm done with everything because dialysis is going to take up my whole entire time. But yeah, so back to the happy notes. Uh, I know this video got very serious, but uh, hopefully you guys understand. I wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I have mentioned this on my gaming channel, I posted an update on Tuesday and I said this on my gaming channel but I do know a lot more of my friends watch this channel than they watch my gaming channel. So yeah but hopefully you guys like what books I'm gonna read this weekend and in the coming weeks probably uh, be prepared for a lot of these to have the same books in them. And we're just gonna slowly work our way down to the very end and then start some new books. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Pray for Callie. She's very moody. Are you moody? Yeah, you're moody. You found Dory on your butt though. Or no, Nemo's on your butt. We're using uh, little swimmer's diapers. Because we got them for two bucks. <laughs> but yeah, so I will see you guys all on Monday. So I'll see you then. Bye everyone. Cause you were born with mischief in your eyes and